and welcome to KWMS Live. Today we'll be discussing... We just received some breaking news. What could be more important than discussing the topic? Slavery. What? How did this even happen? Read this. Well, it seems as if the North and the South have started to argue about whether slavery is humane or not. The South is dependent on slavery because most of their profit comes from plantations, which require slave labor. On the other hand, the North thinks that slavery is unconstitutional. They don't need slavery because, well, all of their money comes from industry. Tensions are beginning to rise between the North and the South. So far, we've been keeping a good eye on everything, and it's not looking very good. We'll keep you posted as soon as we get informed on what's going to happen next. All right, we'll be right back after this short commercial break. What's wrong with you? Do you want something to do in your free time? Are you looking for the latest book? Well then, bring yourself down to the Washington Library. We have a wide selection of popular books. Our latest edition is the Uncle Tom's Cabin. Tens of readers are interested in the moral issues portrayed in this book about slavery. I love Uncle Tom's Cabin. It's my favorite and only book. <laughs> oh. My. Lord. <gasps> See? So bring yourself down to the Washington Library. You won't regret it. Hi, Mom! <laughs> Welcome back to KWMS Live. The issue over slavery has reached dramatic heights. The pro-slavery and anti-slavery forces rushed into the Kansas Territory to vote for the territorial legislature. The pro-slavery settlers didn't want to risk losing, so the area had mainly pro-slavery representatives. As a result, people are beginning to call this war Bleeding Kansas. Let's check in with them. Thanks, Marina. I'm out here with Dred Scott, who has a lot to say about slavery. Tell us your story, Dred. Well, Emma, I lived in Missouri, where slavery was legal. But then, my owner took me to live somewhere where slavery was outlawed. A little later, we moved back to the original area. And after my owner passed away, I considered myself a free man. So I sued for my freedom. Well, then what happened? I can see you haven't become a free man, so why not? Well, the court ruled against me and said that I was bound by Missouri's slave code since I lived in Missouri. As a result, I had to remain a slave. Thanks for sharing your story with us, Dred. Well, there you have it, folks. Can I pet your mustache? Oh wait, no, it looks like a little squirrel. No, no. No. Oh, well, don't touch the remote. We'll be right back. There ain't no better way of cleaning cotton. The cotton gin, it's as good as it gets. Cotton gin just, just rocks. When I go to heaven, I'll take a cotton gin with me. If this lands, I'll have a cotton I'll have a cotton gin, please. You have slow work and unbeneficial slaves. They ain't slow work. Yeah. <gasps> you dare not say oh, that no. to me, you useless oh. piece of... Did you waste all your money on non-profitable slaves? Huh? You want to make easy money? <laughs> Thank you. Now, fast easy money is possible with a new cotton jacket. Simply place your cotton in this compartment and crank the handle. Two brushes separate the seeds and debris from the cotton and cleanly as a result. Stop wasting y'all time and money on dawdling slaves. Cotton jacket only produces the widest of the white. And available in your local gardening store, but if you telegraph us now, we will send you your very own cotton gin for a little price of only 50 bucks. But so wait, pack order now, and you'll receive a set of gardening tools absolutely free. Just say separate shipping handling. We want $75 rally for only 50 bucks. Call our toll free number 1 800 238 1175. That's right, yo! 1 800 238 1175. Welcome back. I'm Gracie, and I'm currently at the Lincoln and Douglas Debate in Illinois. So, what these men are debating about is slavery. Lincoln believed that slavery is incorrect and would like to prevent it, but Douglas has other intentions. Let's watch. 
Slavery is a moral, social, and political wrong. We shouldn't continue allowing slave labor to expand. If we don't act now, the South will expand slavery into the entire nation. Hey. The best way to address this issue is with popular sovereignty. Popular sovereignty is unconstitutional. It takes away slaveholders' property rights. We should allow the people to have say whether or not we should ban slavery. I object! Slavery needs to be dealt with immediately. Can't you see what it's doing to our nation? All I'm trying to do is be fair. Are you saying people's thoughts don't matter? Oh! I would never say or think that. You are missing the point, Stefan. If we don't act now, who knows what'll happen? I'm only trying to be reasonable. Well, can't you understand? It looks as if things are getting more gruesome between Lincoln and Douglas. I'm afraid that the end to this is far from me. Welcome back. More breaking news! John Brown has just led an attack on Harper's Ferry. Brown desired to inspire slaves to fight for their freedom. Therefore, he captured weapons in the U.S. arsenal at Harper's Ferry in Virginia. Reports tell us they killed not one, not two, not three, but four people in the raid. Mm -hmm. Brown sent word for slaves to join and fight, but no one joined the loner. So he and the U.S. Marines attacked the Harper's Ferry. Over to you, Yolanda. Thanks, love. I'm here with John Brown and I have a couple of questions to ask him. So John, you didn't do this all by yourself, did you? Didn't you have any followers? Of course I did. To be precise, I had 18 loyal followers, 13 of them were white, and all five were black. And what was the result? No slaves joined our five, and we killed only four people, as you mentioned before. Thanks for sharing the truth with us, John. I'm sure the people really appreciate it. Ain't no problem. Well, I have to go get hung. Bye. Bye, John. Wait. What? Well, that was an, an interesting story. In other news, as we all know, Southerners had warned that if Lincoln won, the Southern states would secede. Unfortunately, they were true to their word. South Carolina has officially seceded. Other Southern states followed its lead and withdrew from the Union as well. The seceded states are forming the Confederate States of America. Jefferson Davis has been elected President of the Confederacy. The Confederate Constitution has even been modeled after the U.S. Constitution. However, there are some differences. The Confederates support states' rights and protect slavery, while the Union, as you all know, are against slavery. The Confederate Constitution protects slavery, including any territories it might acquire. Will the North and South peacefully reunite, or will they erupt into a painful civil war? I know, next time on KWMS Live.
looks so creepy. It's so close. Ew, ew, ew. I feel like it's going <gasps> to jump. It's like... Emma, it's so tiny. It's all the way over there. What the heck? Why is it walking like that? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe it broke a leg. Let's break his other legs. Ew! 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 Time to wax. Oh my god! Oops! <laughs> Never wax your mustaches, boys and girls. <laughs> you like ripped it. <laughs> yes, I would like your half eaten mustache. Yeah. No! Yeah. No! I'm finished. No.